Hi, Curtis Hayes here from HayesRadio.com and I wanted to show you how to put together one of these 3D printed cases. So it comes in multiple parts. This is the middle part and take your T-beam after it's all put together and <clears throat> there are four tiny little holes here that match up to the four corner holes on the T-beam. Before you put that in there though, you need to decide about which buttons you're gonna use. So these come in two sizes. Uh, if you buy the kit, I send all uh, of the sizes in duplicate. So there's three tall and three small. Uh, tall ones, I, from the ones that I pre-build, I put one on the power button, which is the first one. That's right next to the USB port. And then I put another tall one on the middle button because it is the one that um, you use to page through the different menu screens. And then the third, I use a short one because it's the reset. There's not usually a reason to reset it, but you never know. All of the software on these is considered alpha or beta. Uh, and so, next step. And watch that they fall out pretty easy, pretty easily. So we got that in there. So there's a little protective plastic on the LCD this lines up fairly easily and then you'll need something I use another middle to hold it up off of the table otherwise the battery compartment protrudes through uh, the other thing you need to do is move your GPS antenna over into this little side compartment here. I use, it comes with a little stick em. I just kind of stick it on this side right here. Kind of like that. So it is 3D printed, so there'll be little pieces here and there. You can just pull those off. It's not perfect. So these are not, um, what do they call that? Like, um, I don't know, I can't think of it right now, but it's where you melt the plastic and uh, it's kind of moldy pressure molding, something like that, I can't remember. Anyway, so, um, you can you can leave this under here if you want to, it's really not that much pressure. If you really are concerned, you can pull the antenna connector off, push it through the hole, pull it over, and just have it go straight over the top. I'm not going to do that, like these, these boards are not made for a lot of repetitive use for different things. Um, I'd rather not make it loose or damage it, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, and what I'll actually do is just put three screws in and not screw this down so it doesn't compress that uh, micro coaxial cable. So then the screws that we use are super, super tiny. Uh, if you want to buy your own, they are M2 Phillips machine screws. I bought mine from the Nutty Company. Here's about 
900 of them, so I have plenty. Uh, I'll be offering those for sale on hayesradio.com. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab three of these and then swap out my screwdriver. Let's see if this says, so this is a S2 PZ1. Not sure if that helps anyone, but that's the screwdriver Phillips head that I'm using. Uh, these are super, super tiny, so uh, it may even help if you have a separate screwdriver like this to just kind of get it started. You don't have to use an electric screwdriver. This works just fine. The whole point is just to hold the board down. One corner, the other corner in. Let's get the third in up here. Now the board is well seated in here. It's not going anywhere. what it looks like. Next step, let's put a battery, just a regular 18650. And definitely want to make sure you get your positives and negatives. Um, it even says on here, please pay attention to the positive negative on the board. So just like your AA batteries, even though this is a lithium 18650, it has a little nub up here that's the positive, flat is the negative, positive, negative. And it's a pretty tight fit, so you're gonna want to uh, put it really just kind of straight down in instead of kind of like sometimes people back in one side and then the other. I found on these that putting them more of a, a straight fit, straight down. Well, guess what I just did? Just pushed out one of my screws. So maybe I should have done that before I screwed it in. Okay, you guys learn from my mistakes, okay? Not afraid to show you where I mess up. And it's already booted up. These things boot up super fast. All right, so next, kind of important. Um, let's take this top here. Since we're building this, this just kind of slides in here, push down. doesn't quite fit. Sometimes there's some residue from uh, the bridges that are built to hold the 3D extrusions together as it goes across uh, this long path. Um, so as you can see, this, uh, this corner drops down, drops down, and then it goes up and across. Well, I found the best way to print these on my 3D printer is vertically. And so having a gap between the base of the, the hot plate and then trying to do a very long extrusion in the air, it's not usually gonna work out too well. So I put uh, little supports under here. And then when you break them off, sometimes there's a little bit left over. So you need to use the edge of a, knife or file and just kind of hone that down a little bit and it'll fit real nice. Okay, so next we have these M3.5 by 18 
millimeter socket. This, I like to put them through the front because I don't want to see the nut on the front. I want to see the head of the, of the nut or of the bolt, sorry. So just put these through here and the ones, so the plans that I used put those down in the description of the YouTube video but the plans that I use actually called for different sized bolts and they just didn't work for me I don't know what it was they weren't long enough like I ordered from two different places um, I went to Ace Hardware those did work but they didn't have enough and they were kind of expensive and that was that's part of the problem with all of these small hardware is it's kind of hard to find sometimes that's why i'm offering just the the packages of the hardware itself so if you have a 3d printer print this yourself and then if you want to put it together and not have to go searching for all of the hardware i sell kits send it to you an envelope pretty cheap um, hook you up so Let's see, I need a battery back a case. Let me get that real quick. All right. So if you look at the battery case, it has a little notch. If you download these STL files to do the printing yourself, you'll see that there's various um, printouts I like this one uh, because it has this little notch that's for your active GPS antenna. So you just kind of match those up, put this on here, and with the bolts that I found, uh, the size that I specified earlier, <clears throat> they stick out just enough, and then the uh, nuts that I got have the nylon, the nylock built into it because I don't want them backing out on their own. It's something you don't really want to come loose on you and makes it a little more sturdy. It's not just going to start falling apart on you. Once you get it threaded into the nylon, it won't come back out. It's better than a lock washer. Just be careful too when you Start to cinch this down with your uh, screwdriver, or your Allen wrench, your hex key, whatever you're using, star bit. Uh, it can compress this plastic beyond what it can handle and you'll break it. So, at some point, I'm gonna probably 3D print my own little socket holder um, not sure what else I'd want to call it to hold these down <clears throat> without scratching them don't really like that using needle nose pliers on this tends to uh, scratch it off just to scratch off the black I like it all being black uh, so but for now it's okay so I just I get it just enough that it kind of cinches everything down into the, um, the nylon portion of the nut. And then I just realized I probably should have worn my AirPods so you get better audio. Still figuring all this recording. See, this is just not really the best. But I'm sure I'll perfect it over time. I 
And like I say, I am not worried about showing you guys my mess ups. Alright, let's do this one. If you can't, can you just like hit that subscribe button? Really appreciate it. As soon as I get, I think a hundred subscribers, I can get a better URL, like a personalized URL. That'd be pretty cool. Hopefully, you find some videos helpful. All right, there we go. I think it looks pretty nice. Ugh. It's, a <laughs> it's a fairly sturdy. Um, wake it up, push the middle button, sit there and scroll through the different screens. And uh, if you want to power it off, just hold down that first button about five seconds. And there, it's powered off it back again, power it back on, boots up, mesh-tastic, 1264 is the code we're running right now, it's back online. I did see, I believe, six GPS satellites, which is pretty incredible considering I'm in a basement, so. All right, um, go to my website, hazeradio.com, if you want to purchase any of this, I'm going to be adding all of this here uh, shortly and um, hopefully this helps you. Three. Like and subscribe for my pop channel. channel.